Hi guys and welcome to Visual C++ tutorial of a stock management system. Now you see this data in here. If we click on the second tab here, we should be able to see the information of Paul Omen right there somewhere here. Let's come right down here. That is Paul Omen here. That is it. The one with the number one girl's son place. Okay, that is it right there. Little counting. So if we come in here, that is it right there. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset the whole process and let's enter other new data in there. So let's say what we are purchasing is beans and in here let's enter the amount and the system is saying stock level is 120. Now let's enter a name there. Let's say the name is Lucy. So Lucy Kingston. We have something like that. And address is number three. Frogner Road. There. And enter the rest details. Well, it's not. It's on sales. Okay, that's fine. Discounts. About 20. VAT. Yes. And in here, I can't type debit that's a visa card all we then need to do is click on total there we go record save successfully click on ok if we come straight in here inside the invoice invoice data let's look for Lucy Kingston let's go for the name here that's Lucy Kingston right there living in number 3 Frogner Road so back in here now let's have a good look at our database click on the database open it up and we should be able to see let's look for the name as well we should be able to see lucy there we go lucy kingston living in frogner road there so what i am going to do now is i'm going to exit out and we start a new project Okay guys, and let's start a new project. So I'm going to exit out. And let's minimize this and open up a new project entirely. Click on new. Create new. And we are working with C++. So make sure you select CLRNT projects and click on next. Give your project a name. I'm going to call it CPP Stock Control. So that's going to be the name of my project CPP Stock Control. There we go. And click on create. Okay. The development environment is ready, but there's nothing appearing. This is C++ using the CLRNT project. I'm now going to click on the Solution Explorer right here. Click on that. And right inside the Solution Explorer, there we go. You see the properties. Click on the property right there. Okay, once you click on that, this dialog box appears. You now want to select linker. This is the linker right there. Click, drop down the linker, and inside the linker, select systems. Inside the system, we now want to select sub system, and in here, drop that down, and let's select Windows subsystem Windows Windows subsystems Windows. Just for your information, the platform I'm using is 64 bit so if yours is 32 just go for 32 so mine is 64 bit now subsystem is Windows subsystem Windows let's go back to the linker inside the linker here we now want to select advanced inside the advanced you see where we have entry point let's change that to main click on apply and click on apply and click on OK there we go now the next thing you want to do is come straight to the name of your program right click on it and let's select add inside the add we want to select new item 
click on add new item and the new item we want here is the CLR right here select the CLR and let's select Windows forms now click on add and there we go it's now building up the window form although we will end up with an error right there guys that is the error that I was talking about but that's no problem you see where we have myform.cpp this very one here that's what we need double click on it there we go and here that's where we meant to enter the code for our form to get the code for our form there is a forum where you can get the code that is the forum right there I'm going to include the ULR of this forum there if you scroll right down follow the instruction we've already gone through here save our project and keep coming and this is where I am now where the error is and these are the lines of code that you need okay just copy that lines of code minimize that and paste the lines of code inside your cpp my form dot cpp you will end up with an error the error is because you need to enter the name of your project and the name of my project is cpp stock control that is the right there. i'm going to double click on that and the error will disappear now you see that guys that is fine we we'll save that if you run your program you should be able to see the form but the problem is the form is not officially on the solution explorer so let's click on run make sure it's saved though click on run all right there guys that is your form i'm gonna close that so i will also have to close the whole program if i don't close it the form will not be compiled so Let's close that so that we can get hold of the form right here. So let's close the whole program. There we go. Now that the form is closed, I'm going to right click and just reopen the form. That is it. That's it coming up now. Then we then double click on the Explorer. We should be able to see the form right there now. There we go the system is finished compiling and that is the form let's double click on the form again there we go that is the form now the next thing we want to do is let's go straight to the properties inside the properties you see where we have size let's change that to 1386 by 788 press enter there now i'm going to go straight to the toolbox inside the toolbox i need tab control scroll right down that is my tab control there and the tab control let's select that and just change the properties of that very tab control I'm going to change that to about 1300 and maybe 40 46 comma by 716 there now the other thing I want to do is make sure the tab control is selected and your properties is selected right here and I'll need the properties for that let's come in here and get hold of the properties for this tab itself there we go now what I need in there is the text I need to change the text of everything there so let's go into make sure the tab is all selected go to the tab page click on where we have collections and in there you see the tab number one I'm going to scroll right down first of all let's change the back color um, border style okay I'm gonna make the border style fix single now the back color I'm gonna make that cadet blue there and the text on it let's copy that to that blue the text on it right there I'm going to change that to stock control there we go now let's go straight to tab number two and that's it right there select tab number two change the border style of that as well to fix single and the back color 
change that to cadet blue then the text content on it I'm going to change that to invoice details invoice details there we go click on OK so we finish with that the next thing we now want to do is to go back to the toolbox here and I will then need panel there grab hold of a panel drag it there I'll change the size of my panel to maybe 1000 plus let's make that 1000 1304 comma that would be the width the height I'm gonna make that 1000 no I'm gonna make that 654 there we go and let's change the back color of it I'm gonna change that back to control control is the default color there that is fine now let's take care of tab number two the invoice click on the invoice in there I'm going to go back to my toolbox and in there I just need data grid view drag the data review I'm going to make the data grid view let's change the properties of that data grid view as well I'm going to make that about Three on one thousand three hundred and forty six by seven hundred and sixteen. There, just gonna drag it right there. That's fine. So the data grid view must be everywhere now. Okay, that's fine. Now back into our control, the main page. I will then add labels come in here let's grab hold of a label we have one label here and I need a combo box combo box there we go then text box as well one text box Now these three components that I have on the system, I'm going to change the font size to, I'm going to go for about 18. I may end up readjusting it, but let's just enter 18. 18 bold, there we go. Now, the combo box right there, that's fine. Hold on to the control, click and drag bring the label down I repeat the same thing we need nine labels no eight labels actually so just just like that another one and another one here there we go and this one I'm gonna move this one over there I replace that with the text box there now let's change the data that we have on this label so this one is going to be known as product ID and the combo box right in front of it I'm going to change the name of that to CMB product ID there we go the next one below that is going to be known as product name there we go product name the label right in, in front of it we change that to LBL product name there so let's do one thing see all of these labels select it all the ones right in front of the other labels let's change as follows auto size make that false then the border style I'm going to make it fix single so I can extend it that much there 
all right so that's looking good so far and in fact let, let me increase the size of everything I'm gonna come in here and make that about 240 by 37 there so I just allocate a bit of room for them and this one as well drag it that much drag this one that much as well there we go select it all and reposition it now looking good so this has a name now let's select all of these labels and get rid of the text content that we have in there come right down where we have text delete there we go now this one is going to be known as description let's come straight to the text as description And the label right in front of it I'm going to change that to LBL description so I'm going to repeat the same thing for the others just to speed it up a little bit so let's do that and that is that taken care of so let's delete this one and just grab two here I actually need four and place that here and I'm going to need another one here right here let's hold on to the control click and drag bring it right here somewhere right now let's select this and move it back a little bit so that we have some room there select both of these take it up okay now let's copy the combo box, delete these two. I'm not gonna need them really. Copy a combo box, bring it down here. And I need date time picker. Let's come in here, look for date time picker. There. Let's draw that here. Okay, let's increase the font size to maybe 15 or 16. 16. There we go. Alright, that's fine for the daytime picker. And change the data on this. This is going to be date expires. there we go and below it that is going to be oh let's give that the time picker a name select that that is going to be DTP the time picker there and this is going to be known as CMD cells very good why the text content will be the label will be on sales there there we go and the next thing is let's change the details of these two remainder And the label right in front of it change that to LBL remain remainder the one above that is going to be valid from there and this is going to be LBL valid from okay looking good all right now here let's add 
a plane there or a panel yeah doesn't drag it that much and change the border to fix single border style fix single as well okay let's add another panel in here something like that and just change it to maybe 428 by 146 and set the border style to fix single there okay we are almost done with the interface design so let's grab about five of these here no let's go for four five okay select all of these one two three four five and place it right there and combo box I need two of those one two and I need text box we only need three of those two and three so this one is going to be for address something like that change this to address and let's repeat the same for the others I'm just gonna speed that up okay I now have my text box combo box and they've all been named as well all right right below here I'm going to need another in fact I need two panels here and buttons come right here let's grab hold of panels there we go let's drag there okay I'm going to change the border side to fix single okay so let's copy this very panel let's drag this one up first right and hold on to control click and drag we have another one inside it okay the one we have out there let's the outside one let's change it to get it blue there okay so the panels are in place let's select this and another three here hold on to the control click and drag so we can just copy it like that and then change the name of these two tags and this one is going to be known as subtotal followed by total and here that will be LBL tax then we have LBL sub total and this is LBL total so let's add buttons now come here let's go scroll right up we need buttons I'm going to change the that to btn total and let's change the font I'm going to make that maybe about 36 bold change the text content we change that to total there and now let's copy it we need three of those we have two and we have three that is correct so this is going to be called reset
and the variable name is going to be known as btm reset finally we have btn exit okay change the variable name to exit there all right so let's run it and see how that looks like click on run all right there guys that's how the design of the interface looks so with that i will call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and i will see you guys shortly